everyone, and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Redans. It's Stan Redan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show, where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. I'm excited about this episode because I got my last shipment from Empathy for the year. Uh, if you remember, just a few episodes back, I did the rosé and the white wine. Now I'm going to review the red blend from Empathy Wines. And I thought, well, I'd just do that. And then I thought, why not try the uh, Convergence Zone Fly Rod Cellars wine, red blend that I also got. I reviewed their wines. I was really impressed with their wines. They're out of North Bend, Washington. And uh, super impressed, in fact. But I didn't review the Fly Rod Cellars uh, red blend from them. So we're going to just do them back to back, see how they compare to each other. I think that'll be a very interesting experiment. Um, yeah, well, Let's get started. Flyrod Cellars, um, 2015, Prince Nymph Red Wine, Columbia Valley, Washington. This rolls in at $29. There you go. So I got my new lighting. I'm trying it today. Didn't uh, Chris couldn't come out and help me uh, get it set up. So I'm just going flying at it. Uh, he he will be able to help me next week get this thing set up. He's a He's a good photographer, and he knows how to set these things up properly. I hope this turns out okay with the lighting. I like it. They even make noise. Pretty, pretty impressive lights that I got for this. So twenty-nine dollars, not chump change, but not in the you know other world super expensive wine for sure. Let's see what we get on the notes. Oh, uh, the blend on this one, I had to write it down. I got it off the website. They don't have it on the back of the bottle. You know how much I passionate I feel about at least putting it on the bottle. But if you don't, at least put it on your website. Empathy Wines doesn't do that. You know, I, I've asked many times, I've asked you guys, and maybe you can even comment now, do you like to know what's in the wine? And so far, 9 out of 10, if not 100%, have said, yes, we like to know what's in the wine. I think it's just, you know, a consumer deserves to know what they're drinking. Now, this is 50% Cab, 31% Merlot, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 5% Petit Verdot. Runs in at 14.5 alcohol. ABV, alcohol, by volume. A little bit of cedar on the nose. I'm getting chocolate big time on this one. A lot of chocolate. Cedars, plums, cherries. get a lot of plum on this one. Yeah, let's see what we get on the palate. I really like their ones. I thought the Convergence, so the first time I ever tried them, uh, they self-distribute. So we'll get into that a little bit on the Empathy wine. but uh, So they're self-distributing. They don't have a distributor. That means they deliver directly to the consumer. A little bit of black olive as well. Let's see what we get on the palate. Solid structure. The tannins are solid, they're approachable. A little bit of grit on the back side of this one. The chocolate notes come through, the plum notes big time, right? that right front finish. And then the cherry notes kind of sneak out on the back end. I get a little bit of spice too on the back end as well. Boy, this, this was just screaming for a stew or a rib steak or something. Nice integration front to back. Good flow across the palate. Almost seamless. A um, little bit of expansion. The, the tannins get a little bit sweet on the mid palate. But just a solid wine. And the finish is just still lingering. I get a nice, like, um, the sweet tannins really linger on the back side. This is a really delicious wine. I mean, this is, you know, you could sit, you could drink this all by itself. In other words, sit and watch a movie and just enjoy this wine. I think it would be much better with food. I do some blue cheese popcorn or something like that, gorgonzola popcorn, one of my favorite little snacks, especially with wine. I love it. A little bit of that cedar trying to sneak out right on the back side. Solid wine. Solid wine. I'm going to go B plus A minus. I think uh, 29 bucks is not too much for this wine. 
It's not an everyday red for many of us, including myself. But it is a very nice wine. If you want to treat yourself, have some people over, enjoy a bottle of wine, this would be the one. I definitely think so. Let's move on. Rinse there. Now, Mr. Vaynerchuk has been in the wine business most of into his 30s. Wine library. His dad started it after the discount liquors, I think, and, and so he knows what it's all about. Oh, nice job, Stan. This is the uh, 2018 Empathy Red Blend California. So when it says California, they can source a fruit from anywhere in the California area. They're based out of Napa, produced and bottled by Empathy Wines, 14.9% alcohol. Uh, the whole idea behind this is uh, empathy for the farmers, empathy for you. So they deal directly with the farmers, they have contracts with them, then they pass on to the uh, consumer directly, so you don't have that middleman. The United States is about the three-tier system. It goes farmer, producer, well, producer, middleman, uh, being the distributor onto the consumer, and all those people mark it up. So you get it's much more expensive to the consumer. He's asking twenty-seven dollars after shipping. That's the only way you're going to get it anyway. Depends on where you live, I guess. Um, so both very close in price. Uh, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that you can't even look it up on the uh, website and find out what is in the Empathy Red Blend. That's the only criticism I have. I like to know. Just saying. Let's see what we get on those. Boy, this has a, a lot of chocolate on the nose. A little bit of char. You know, like that, you, you burnt, you know, a little bit of burnt wood. I get some currents coming through underneath that char. Chocolate. Currents. A little bit of a red flower component coming through, kind of between red and dark red, you know what I'm talking about? Let's see what we get on the palette. <laughs> this is a big monster, baby. Uh, but not over to the top. I'm gonna say, I'll say that first of all. It's big. It's big on the palate. I get all kinds of flavors. Um, currants, red flowers, a little bit of uh, chocolate coming through. An interesting, almost like a meat marinade. It's a little bit meaty. Let's just say that. I get sort of like, almost like a bloody meat component coming through on the mid palate, which is, I find, quite interesting. I mean, talk about powerful, structured, delicious wine. I mean, I think uh, Gary and his, and his partners have really found a nice area with this wine. Um, there's so much going on. It's very complex. I mean, I get all these flavors. I get a little bit of that meat component. I get lots of violets. It's just a load of violets, a lot of chocolate, currants. Yeah, it, I mean, this is a very interesting wine. Sweeter tannins, but they show a little bit of attitude on the back end. And both of these, I give this one a B plus, A minus. This is rocking it. You know, I, it, it, I just can't help but tell you, this rocks it. And it's interesting because, um, yeah, I don't know what's interesting, except that it rocks it. $27 with shipping to Washington State, and to get this quality, I, I would have to agree that that's a, a, a real value, a real value.
there are so many flavors in this wine that I can't even begin. I, I could take an hour just describing this. I'm not trying to flatter anybody in this who made this. It just is what it is. And um, the red flower, the, the violets and all that stuff coming through, a little bit of black olive, a lot of chocolate, currants, all of that. The tannins have a sweeter edge to them. Um, it has good balance, so it's structured tannins, so it keeps it from going like, you know, fruit bomb. It's not a fruit bomb. It has fruit, but it's not a fruit bomb. I'm really liking this. I'm going to go, I'm going to go straight up a hedging towards A+. Plus. I really like this wine. I actually like both of them. Both very good. So there you go. Empathy and fly rod sellers. Nice job, guys. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get more subscribers. I really like that. It does mean a lot to me. You know, it's nice to get subscribers. Anyway, because it's nice to see people enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying it. Make a comment. If you have any ideas of what you want me to do. Do you like the blind tastings better than this? What do you like? I want to know. You keep watching. And I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.